Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at the nice and shiny Nokia 6. Okay, so if you've uh, ever used a mobile phone any time between the 90s and today, um, at some point in your uh, experiences you've probably come across the Nokia brand, whether it be in some of the older uh, Tetris playing phones or some of the more modern things like the Lumias, uh, the Microsoft branded phones. You've probably seen a, a Nokia around and they've always been very well known for their build quality and also their cameras. So now Nokia have come back into the mobile phone market after Microsoft basically destroyed them, uh, backed by a company called HMD. They've now brought out a new range of Nokia phones, the 3, the 5, the 6 and the 8. This is late 2017. There's more models to follow in 2018. But this here is the uh, Nokia 6, I would say budget phone. Some people may not think of it as that, but I personally think of a budget phone. So you're looking in the region of about £130 uh, on pay as you go, or around about 160 SIM free. There's various offers and what have you, and I know in, uh, in America, through Amazon, you can get a version of this with uh, adverts from Amazon, which reduces the price quite dramatically by about $50. So that's uh, also worth looking into if you're thinking of getting one of these budget phones. Okay, so before we get into this and unbox it and see what we get in the box, let's have a, a quick run through of some of the specifications. So first of all, you're looking at a 5.5 inch IPS color screen, looking at a resolution of 1080p, so that's 1920 by 1080, and that is a roughly 70% body to screen ratio. And the glass screen is protected using Gorilla Glass model version three, which is 2.5D if that means anything to you. Now, straight out of the box, this is a very pure Android experience. It's running Android 7.11 straight out of the box with a planned upgrade to Oreo very quickly. This is December 2017, and there's already a beta version of Oreo available. If you go to the uh, Nokia beta testers page, you can get onto Oreo straight away, straight out of the box. The CPU in this phone is a Qualcomm uh, 430 chip, which isn't the fastest, but because of the fact it isn't a massively fast CPU, you do get one benefit and that is great battery life. Now talking of battery life, this has got a 3000 milliamp hour battery. So combined with a relatively low power CPU and GPU, uh, you should get a pretty good uh, battery life out of this. Two days is not uncommon. The downside also of the slightly older uh, generation of CPU is the fact that it doesn't support fast charge. So charging times are gonna be slightly longer with this, but if you're the type of person like me who leaves the phone on charge overnight next to your bedstead, then uh, it's not going to be a problem. Now storage space wise on this model, this comes as standard with a uh, three gigabyte memory and 32 gigabytes of storage space. Now after you've got your operating system set up and what have you, that'll probably leave you around about 20 gigabytes free space to uh, store movies, pictures, etc. So that's pretty good. There is another version of this phone, which is a little bit more expensive, which comes with four gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. So if you think that storage is going to be a, uh, a big issue for you, then I would suggest plumping for the slightly more expensive model. But talking of storage, you don't actually have to be uh, restricted by what is in the phone to start with. You've got a micro SD slot, so you can put a micro SD card up to 128 gigabytes in there to vastly increase your storage. Now, why is storage important? Well, with this particular phone, and well, most phones these days, you get great cameras, and with great cameras come bigger file sizes. So if you're going to be taking lots of pictures and shooting lots of video, then storage space is going to be important for you. Now, this uh, particular model has two cameras. It's got a front-facing 8 megapixel shooter, and on the rear, you've got a 16 megapixel shooter, which uh, will shoot as low down as f2. So you're going to get some pretty good shots in there. There isn't any optical image stabilization, so if you're planning on taking um, shots at night, then a tripod or some kind of stabilizer or gimbal might be useful. But for general everyday use for point and shoot, this is gonna be a great camera. And I'll show you some results of the camera um, in my next video, which is gonna be after I've used this for a week or so, and I'll get some pictures and my overall thoughts into a video so you can see exactly how it performs. This is just gonna be an unboxing and showing you what you get and a brief introduction. Now, when it comes to video, um, you've got video, you can do shoot 1080p at 30 frames per second, which is pretty much standard for this kind of uh, budget phone. But what is quite unusual, well, 
in my opinion, for this sort of price point, is the front-facing camera can also shoot in 1080p. So if you're making either YouTube videos or you're streaming to some kind of uh, online social media like Facebook, that kind of thing, you can shoot videos with either camera at pretty good resolution. So talking of social media, media consumption and that kind of thing, um, this model has two speakers built in, so stereo speakers, which again, which is quite a, an unusual thing for this kind of price point. So the, uh, the earpiece at the top is a speaker and also there's a bottom firing speaker at the bottom. Uh, alongside that is your USB charging port. So let's take this thing out of the box now and have a look and see what we actually get for our money. Now just starting off with the packaging, it's quite a nice packaging, very kind of typical uh, Nokia packaging, even though it is technically a new company, but uh, a lot of the original kind of people that were with Nokia have moved on to the new HMD group. So things are looking good so far. So inside the box, first of all, the accessory box. So let's have a look, see what we get in here. I'm not expecting the earth because again, this is quite a cheap thing, but get a, just a cheap set of speed, uh, cheap set of earphones and built-in microphone so you can talk on the go, listen to your music and not disturb other people. Uh, you get a USB, micro USB charging cable. And you also get obviously a charging plug, which is your typical uh, Nokia deal. And this one is, if I can see it, this is a two amp hour charger. So it's not too bad. That should do quite well. Obviously a lot better than a one amp charger. So that's enough of those bits. Let's have a look at the phone itself. Oh, actually, what else we got on in there? Ah. Right, so you've got your SIM tool removal thing. And also you've got your welcome guide and your product and safety info. But we won't be using that. So here's the phone itself. So there we are, there's the phone. And let's unpeel it and I'm actually quite excited to uh, to see this phone. I've been a uh, sort of Nokia user for many, many years, probably too many years. And they've always felt like good phones, especially uh, some of the higher end Lumias, which uh, Microsoft kind of co-produced. I always found them to be very nice phones. Windows phones never really took off. Uh, they had great ideas behind them, but never actually took off. But the, the build quality and the construction and the actual the phones themselves are really good quality phones and quite uh, strong and resilient. And this actually is uh, very similar to probably the Lumia 950 or 930 if you ever use one of those. So it's quite uh, quite sharpish edges, which I kind of like, so it's quite a nice grip in the hand. And actually, considering it's a single slab of aluminium which has been machined to make this phone, it doesn't actually feel overly heavy. Now if I compare it with my uh, Motorola G4, which Kath's just gonna to pass to me. So this is the Motorola G4, which I'm kind of upgrading or side grading to from. Now between the two, there's very little, very little in difference. I'd say if anything, actually, the G4 is probably slightly heavier. So looking at the two, actually, there's a, quite a similarity between them. Sorry, this is a fingerprint magnet, as you can see already. So uh, size-wise, comparison with the G4, very similar size, almost identical. The G4 is slightly more rounded, but you can see that the uh, the camera hump on the back, uh, both of them are slightly raised. Very, very similar in designs. Again, the buttons on the side and the overall kind of look and feel. Now the, uh, let's, get rid of, let's get back to the, uh, the Nokia 6. So hardware uh, buttons rather than software buttons, which I, I prefer, so you get more screen real estate. Also at the bottom here, you've got your uh, home button, which also is a fingerprint reader, which again, at this price point is fantastic. At the top, you've got your uh, earpiece. And next to that, you've got your front facing eight megapixel shooter. And hidden behind the glass somewhere there is your proximity sensor and daylight sensor, etc. On this side, you've got the uh, SIM eject, or where you can put your micro SD cards. Again, on the back, you've got your um, noise canceling microphone at the top your 16 megapixel camera with uh, dual flash, Nokia branding, and on this side you've got your uh, wake button and volume up and down. On the top, it's very nice to see a uh, 3.5mm headphone jack, 
and microphone jack. And on the bottom, you've got your uh, downward facing speaker. You've also got a microphone for calls and your USB, uh, sorry, micro USB charging port. So all in all, a very nice and quite a premium feeling phone. It actually feels really nice in the hand. And if you've uh, if you ever use any of the Nokia Lumias, then uh, you will quite like this. So let's turn it on and see what the screen is actually like. If we've got any battery, and as you can see, it's a, a pure Android experience. And there we go. There's the Nokia logo. It's like seeing an old friend come back. Oh, <laughs> uh, if, that's a really nostalgic noise. The Nokia ringtone. How great is that? I'd pay the money just for that. Okay, so we got into the uh, the welcome screen now, so we can set it up and do all the uh, different bits and pieces. But actually, initially, let's have a look comparison-wise. Now, there's a screen protector on this one, so it's not a really fair comparison, and it's filthy because I've been using it. Between the two screens, so between the two, I would say screen-wise, if you're looking at, again from coming from a, a, a G4. I would say the two screens are actually very similar. The um, the G4, I've got the screen brightness set right down, so. We'll stick that back up. This wouldn't be a proper unboxing without showing it how it's set up, so let's go through the setup. As per usual, it's not seeing the Wi-Fi network, which is right next to me, which is the Virgin Media one, which I hopefully will get rid of at some point in the near future. Okay, so we're in, and it's now checking for updates. This may take a minute or two. We'll definitely fast forward through this bit. So there we are. There's our Nokia 6 all set up. A few more tweaks to do, but uh, all in all, I think that's pretty much done. And as you can see, it's a very stock Android. At the moment, the, um, the screen's set to be very dim, so let's put that, crank that right up. And actually, display-wise, it's got a very bright, punchy display. Obviously, IPS screen, so IPS screens are generally pretty good. And yeah, that looks really nice. And again, it's a stock Android experience, so you've got all your usual things there, like your uh, app drawer, etc., which you can configure however you want. But yeah, there we go. That's pretty much it. That's the Nokia 6 setup and the screen on, so you can see that's pretty nice. Um, that's pretty much it for this unboxing. I'll be doing some more tests over the coming week, uh, get it set up and see what my thoughts are after a week or so's time, or maybe a couple of days' time, see how it goes. But anyway, this has been the Nokia 6. I keep on wanting to say Nokia Lumia, but it's not a Lumia. I mustn't say Lumia. This is a Nokia 6. I've been Mike. This is Mike's unboxing, reviews, and how to. And we'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.